After being on the road for what felt like forever, we have finally arrived at the prison. We did drop off some dogs from the largest transport we've ever done. We are just excited to get this party started. All right, which one of you wants to sit in the puppy pen? <laughs> Here, you want to take this one and come with me? Come on, Tindo. Um, Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> when we first pulled up, I was just astounded at the amount of volunteers that they already had there to help us take care of the dogs, get the dogs out. Are the black ones good, or we have one more going with that group? All right, this is Cavalier. This is Fancy. And just hold her tight, because she's pretty wild. Some of them have random, I did last minute shots on some perfect, of them. Perfect, perfect. Um, but they're all labeled by their names Excellent. and all their records. Oh, this is the most organized we've ever had, medical records. Yeah, this is nice. My name's Amy, and I run Dogs Prison Program. And uh, we're taking dogs from High Kill Shelters, Overwhelm Rescues in the South, and pairing them up with inmates to get them into forever homes. You know, a lot of these dogs come from really hard backgrounds, and we can place them into phenomenal families. So you adopt our dogs as they get homes? You yes. don't adopt them out of one big group? We don't. So we okay. normally, they, they get done in four weeks. Mm -hmm. So then we try to get those dogs adopted at that point. Okay. And if they do, great. If not, then they'll stay here until they're adopted. We're thrilled to get dogs homes. That's what our whole goal is. Hold on, I got you. Wait a second. It's really a win-win for everybody. The prisoners win because they get valuable life experience. And when they get out, they have a great skill set to then go into possibly boarding situations, dog trainers, groomers, you know, sky's the limit. The dogs, of course, are the ultimate winners because their, their lives were on the line. You know, so now they're getting a second chance at life and, and a new family. The black male that's over here? Yes. Um, do you want him at this one or you want him at the federal? Um, I want him at this one. Our best the, okay, yeah, yes. this one. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted Absolutely. to Absolutely. Meeting Amy and Steve, you do breathe a sigh of relief. Amy was very thorough, like she remembered every dog's name. She knew where every dog was going to go to which prison and why. And then the other, the third um, chicken coop puppy is Tinder's that's yep. staying here. She's a female. And all Absolutely. four of those, Pax, Emily, and Avita, so we can all four go together. They look like they get along really well. It took a lot of work putting this whole trip together. But as hard as the work was, we were so excited to be able to do this. In your travels, obviously, across the United States and elsewhere, have you have you seen a program like this before? We've known about prison dog programs for years. I can't even tell you how, how crucial they are, both for uh, inmates and dogs. It felt very community-based once we saw the news there and how much they wanted to get the word out. It was exciting for the dogs. Every prison in this country needs a program like this. I like to get emotional, but like it's, yeah. it's saving us right now. This program is saving us. We are drowning in dogs. And um, if Amy hadn't contacted me and if we hadn't been invited here by these prisons, I don't know what we would have done. We hope that this is going to be a continued relationship. Um, we have 22 spots open every single month, you know, so she's drowning down there with dogs and we can de definitely help her. All the dogs going at the same time? Everybody's going in the same time. Okay. Yep, we have enough staff to help inside. Okay. So after all the volunteers and the prison staff, we're handed off dogs. All right, we're going this way. Okay. We couldn't wait to meet the inmates, the dog handlers themselves, and get to know them and introduce them to their dogs. Okay, we got to go in. Perfect. We're following you guys. I don't think we would be able to survive right now if it wasn't for the dog's prison program. Getting this many dogs out at once is legitimately a lifesaver for us. That's Cavalier. You're in your handle, right? She's all yours. Unfortunately, the state of Pennsylvania does not allow for inmates' faces to be filmed, but we got to spend a lot of time with them, getting to know them, watching them interact with their new dogs, and just, you know, telling them the backstory of each dog. Yeah, she's probably got hound in she's her. She's our little escape artist, so we're gonna really work doors with her. Okay. So every door she sits and waits for you to, to release. Exactly. She's a typical hound. Yeah. She's one of those dogs that if she ever got loose, Typical yeah. hound. They have yep. no loyalty. See ya. They're gone. <laughs> gone! Yep. <laughs> so you see how pushy she is? Yeah, you gotta watch. Yeah. She doesn't mean harm, but it gets irritating with the other dog. Each dog has two handlers. The guys were very polite. You know, when we were giving them specific instructions and bios on each dog, those guys knew exactly what to do and we were so impressed. He's perfect, which you probably already know. He's perfect. He just needs some weight. The dogs live in the cells with them. And just imagine being one of those inmates. You're walking around the prison and you got a dog who has no idea that you're in prison, has no idea that you've committed any crimes, and doesn't care. It gives the inmate a chance to just be that person that he maybe wants to be but can't when he's out there on the yard. Yeah, you guys are really a lifesavers, man. This is this helps us out a lot. Wonderful. Right, we're ready. Let's do it. They're ready. All right, we're going. <laughs> 
Yeah. Apparently this is the biggest yard for the dogs to run around in. Good girl. So look off to your left, that's the yard. This whole thing here. Oh my gosh. Fully fenced. We need a dog yard like this. Oh. Yeah, so let them. Right, you're good. Yep. Right, first dog Everybody's is off. Everybody's in. First dog's off. All right. So you can get some stretch running. your legs. Come on, guys. She's a runner. Come on, you. Come on, you. She's Ooh. a runner. She Ooh. likes the cavalier. She likes the cavalier. Yeah, the cavalier. Oh my god, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her go. She's having a blast. She's so fast. Cheesecake. Oh, she's having a blast. Home. She's <laughs> like, I can do it. I can do it. Go. Just go, go Cheesecake. Go. go. Just do Screw it. it. Screw it. She wants. Do you? Oh. We're training her. Yeah. The moment that we let the dogs off leash. It was Cavalier that stole the show. Look at her. Cavalier doesn't she's care. She's having a blast. <laughs> she's like, watch me out. Look where Cavalier came from. Chained to the wall of a trailer in mud, no shelter, and it's how she's lived her whole life. And it takes her coming to prison to be free. <laughs> oh, I'm standing here. To see her running around, you know, and just knowing that she's never going to be chained up again. That moment there, we were like, okay, this is why we do this. One year out of here? Yes. Okay. We are good. Okay. Well, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You're going to be okay. I promise. You got this. I promise you're going to be okay. You're okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, so, who cut onions in here? Oh, Fancy was breaking my heart. Right I, now. Why do you think Earl and I right now are both? Yeah, like... Fancy was breaking. Oh, Earl, no, yeah. oh, man. No. Two times I went to prison. I took care of maybe 12 dogs by myself. I'm going to say it helped me tremendously at being around dogs while incarcerated because it never gave me much time to think about the outside. And you know, that, that kind of helps you to remain free in the mind even though you're locked up. <laughs> no, no crying. No crying, well. <laughs> there were so many reasons why this program is so great. You know, the South is a tough place to be a dog rescue. And without everybody's help in other parts of the country, none of us stand a chance to help these animals down here. So thank you, Pennsylvania.